Climate change deniers often focus on relatively short segments of the global average surface temperature data to claim that the Earth has stopped warming, or that there, there has been a significant hiatus in warming. So it must be the case that the influence of human activities on the climate is small or non-existent. The reality is that relatively short-term weather phenomena such as El Nino and La Nina patterns can influence global temperatures. They can produce short spans of data that appear flat, but in the long run, don't change the fact that the planet is warming. Proponents of these arguments are falling victim to wishful thinking, or what I call the staircase fallacy. The two charts on the left show the global average surface temperatures from the late 1800s to now. The top chart shows data from NASA, while the bottom chart shows data from the Japan Meteorological Agency. While they are not identical, they are still in very good agreement. If you look carefully, you can find some spots where the global average surface temperatures appear not to change much for a few to several years. However, the long-term trend in both data sets shows that global average surface temperature indeed has been rising since the late 19th century. The longest more or less flat spot in both data sets occurred from about 1950 to 1975. This was a period of rapid electrification in countries across the globe. Coal-fired power plants proliferated to provide this new electricity. And in doing so, these coal-fired power plants spewed enormous amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. When the sulfur dioxide combined with water vapor in the atmosphere, it produced copious amounts of very fine sulfate particulates that reduced the amount of sunlight reaching the surface of the Earth. So even though the amount of CO2 and other greenhouse gases were increasing during this period, global temperatures did not increase. Because of the enormous amounts of air pollution emitted by these coal-fired power plants, governments eventually required them to be fitted with scrubbers to significantly reduce the amount of sulfate particulates entering the atmosphere. When those were in place, global temperatures began to rise again, pretty much in correlation with the amount of CO2 being emitted into the atmosphere, as shown in the char chart on the right. The heavy black line in the upper temperature chart and the heavy blue line in the lower temperature chart are running averages of the yearly temperature data. Between 1980 and the present, there are two flat periods of, or steps of short duration and one flat period or step of longer duration that started around the year 2000. This step of about eight years duration was sized upon by climate change deniers to claim that there was a pause or hiatus in global warming. It was at this point that they fell into the trap of what I call the staircase fallacy. They assumed that this step was the highest step in the staircase without waiting to see if this step was truly the highest or if another higher step might be in the future. We must remember that climate refers to the behavior of the atmosphere over the long term. 30 years or more, while weather refers to the short-term behavior of the atmosphere. Weather phenomena such as El Niños and La Niñas can persist for several years, and they can affect global average surface temperatures in the short run, but they are not climate, they are weather. In order to see if there really is a slowdown or hiatus in global warming from temperature data alone, you need to look at what is happening over 30 year periods. 30 years clearly is a long time to wait to determine if the climate is beginning to stabilize. And it's legitimate to ask if there's some quicker way to determine if global warming is slowing down. 
In my view, the Keeling curve shown here that charts the CO2 level in the atmosphere is likely to provide the first indication of the climate beginning to stabilize. If the Keeling curve starts to flatten out, that most likely would be our first clue. That doesn't mean that global average temperatures would fall suddenly back to pre-industrial levels because the lifetimes of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere can be as long as a century. What it likely would mean is that the global temperature increase is beginning to slow down. So far, there is no indication at all that the rate at which we are putting CO2 in, into the atmosphere is slowing down. Thus, any pause in climate change likely is a long time away. Thanks for watching. Please take some time to watch my other climate videos. And if you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click or tap on my picture below.